watching the past. Today is Saturday, October the 1st, 2022. And I think you are watching this around the last days of December 2022 or the first days of January 2023. Why? Simply because today I'm starting working on the fourth and last feature dedicated to a Victorian era, a novelist. I've annoyed you all along the last months and you already know that my 2022 Christmas Village focused around many things, but one common theme is Victorian era, a novelist, and also steampunk, and also uh, Three Ring Circus, many more things. But I also should have told you that I want this last feature to be a secret and that need to be revealed only when I will upload my final video, my short final video about my 2022 Christmas Village. Yes, I'm that mad. My madness has no limit. That's why you are watching the past right now. Um, I've started this adventure in the first days, in the early days of uh, July 2022. And I've started on the first feature dedicated to Jules Verne and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Then Mary Shelley and his Frankenstein. Then Herbert George Wells with The Time Machine. Now I'm closing this fourth feature with the same novelist I started with, Jules Verne. And don't worry, I will reveal right now the book, the novel, it is Journey to the Center of the Earth. I will try to show you my vision of that book, my, my crazy vision, my dark vision of that book. Victorian, yes, steampunk, not that much, but I love that book. But it is also very dark for me. At least what I want to depict will be very dark. Uh, okay, let's go. Why I've here my breadboard? Because you know that I love experimenting. And what I will try to do right now will help me uh, build the fourth and last feature, will help me build inside the cavern my vision of a journey to the center of the earth by Jules Verne. Sorry, I repeated it. Let me try to show you something. Here I have plus minus some wires and here I have an LED, a white uh, math LED. If I connect plus and minus there, positive and negative there, then let me have an AC adapter. And let me plus here, plus here, uh, plus, 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 plus is negative, yes, plus, and minus. 
sorry. Okay, I was saying plus and minus there. Uh, I went completely wrong because it is like that. Okay. The LED, the LED is switching on 3 volts because those are 3 volts LED. But it's not a flickering LED. Okay. Let me add a flickering LED. Oops. Broke it. Need another flickering LED. Good. So, sorry, but it's normal that sometimes it happened. So, I will get another flickering LED right now. You have seen me using them sometimes ago when I was building my scriptorium those are nothing else than tea candles okay so plus minus let's go here minus here plus and the LED is flickering okay you are seeing the LED flicker um, let me try to do something crazy. If you work in parallel with one LED uh, beside the other, you simply need to add three L LED after LED at just three volts. They will absorb three volts. If you work in series, each time you add a 3 volt LED you have to produce C, uh, 3 volts multiplied by the number of LED volts in this case I would use 2 LED in series this will help me with 6 volts so I will go with the flickering LED plus minus and I will go like that then I will get the plus here and I will connect the plus of this LED to the minus of this other LED and then back with the minus of the LED to the minus of the power now I switch I switch the C adapter to 6 volts 6 volts then I will switch it on please Look at the white LED. Now it is flickering it too. Okay. So if you put two LED in parallel, each one work separately. If you put one LED in series, one after the other, The first or any one of the LED that are in the chain and that it is flickering will make flickering, will make also the others flicker. That's good. That's good. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want something flickering even inside this color. Okay, let me switch everything off because. They are too bright and I'm getting blind. Why I'm saying this to you? Because I will get a cover and then I will also use those quartz stone here. This is not plastic guys. Those are real stones, real 
colored stone. Uh, I have some purple, green, uh, pink, white, I think some red, reddish at least, reddish, blue, uh, light blue, etc. Uh, I don't think I have orange, no, I don't have orange, but I have yellow, yes, I have yellow. Some of the colors are here, pink, uh, yes, pink, so many range of colors. I will use those inside, and they are different shape, they are irregular shape. I bought them on Amazon, I, have, I love them, I love them because they are really, really stones. I will use them inside my cavern, but as the cavern will be very dark, they will also be almost invisible, but but guys, let's get her out with my craziness. Uh, not this one, yes, maybe this one, but look what I have here. I have some Christmas lights, those are 100 uh, micro LED string light. And right now I disassembled it and here it is, the cord, the string with some micro LED, what are micro LEDs? They are LEDs, very, very, very tiny. Please look how tiny they are, how little they are, just this LED. Those are five milli, bloop, five millimeters LED. The diameter is five millimeters in here. Those one here are one millimeter, maybe half a millimeter in diameter. No, I think one millimeter in diameter. So I can hide them. And I will use them like that. I will use them glued here. You are saying, why don't you drill some holes and put them inside? <laughs> this is quartz, guys. It will give me, it will be a hell to um, drill holes inside here. I will have to get some um, diamond um, drill bits, um, not even metal, but, but metal and covered with diamond or something even harder than that, very tiny, very thin, tiny, and then make holes, a hundred of them. I will surely break tens, twenties of them, so I tried guys, I really tried to um, drill holes in, on, in, inside, in the middle there, impossible, those are very hard stones, almost unbreakable stones, <laughs> not really unbreakable, but I can't drill holes, so I will have to use those LEDs behind everything and try to get them illuminated. Guys, I also broke something here, I dis disassembled the power bank that uh, needed to be used as a power supply for these uh, micro LED string. Uh, I took out these, uh, this connector that powered the, the, stri the, the string with plus and minus, plus red, minus black. Then you also have a little infrared receiver for a remote, for a remote but I will not use it right now. So I will mix those, um, those uh, little uh, string here, that, string, string light here, that this is multicolored, guys. This is every color. But I will also use some white ones, like this one. I have also already 
cut one of those. those e this is one micro LED that I will show you it's working. Okay, it is working very bright and I will try to use them in junction with the stones to get something like that okay maybe you are not getting it because it is too bright but um, because i have not set for this brightness the camera but it will help me get some light inside the cavern behind those stones here it will be a hard work because obviously those uh, string here, the string here are isolated, so I, each time I cut one of them, I will have to, um, to burn one side, to burn the, the, the tips, and then make some connections, okay? Uh, very hard to do, I will glue that, firstly them with some super glue like that, but it will not be the, that resistant, so after gluing a bunch of them I will use my epoxy glue to get uh, everything more stable, etc. Very long, very hard work, but then I will also connect, uh, let's say, uh, three of them, three, six, nine, three of each three of those micro LED to a flickering LED. This way they will flicker and synchronously with the, uh, with the LED, okay? Uh, very long work to do, uh, then, then guys, my cover will be this one guys, this is right and left from the, the back of the uh, layout. I will cover this with uh, um, rock paper and those little pieces there, regular pieces, will help me create some bumps inside the cavern I don't like, perfectly vertical and uh, horizontal and vertical um, walls. This should be irregular. And then I will also have uh, some sort of a roof with some micro LED and then something inside the cavern to depict uh, a journey to the center of the earth, okay? This is, the total height will be 24 centimeters in order to get under the North Pole section that will be on top of this. So, very long work to do. Uh, let me start. Okay. I've soldered the first four, the first three white uh, micro LED to the flickering LED, and right now the white ones too are flickering. Then I have provided three plus three plus three plus three equals twelve volts. Each four LED or micro LED plus uh, LED needs twelve volts and that's how it will work let me try to glue them to some stones good uh, what i i did i glued with some hot glue gun because super glue isn't that uh, performant with stones because no no way to glue some stones to any other material and I went with some uh, hot glue and then I also masked um, with uh, some uh, heat shrinking tube the flickering LED 
let's try to see the effect here now I have to correctly position every single stone but I think you are seeing now that they are flickering and they are also colored they are okay so I will do many many times this 3 plus 1 flickering LED then add them to the color a long process oh by the way I also put some hot glue uh, on the hand of one of the uh, the tip there in order to isolate otherwise it will do a short circuit like that but with some hot glue here it's like having some plastic and the rest of the uh, of the wire here is already isolated so you don't risk anything touching them just the tip where I've removed the isolating the isolation you need to glue it uh, to get some glue around the tip of the uh, of the wire one two three and then also this i don't like having a little light like that i will close this somehow maybe like that okay uh, let's continue with those ones. I will try to experiment even with some resistor to see if I can uh, fade down uh, the uh, light, a little fading. Okay, I added one kilo, kilo ohm resistor here before the flickering LED. Let's see the result. Okay, less intense, more suited for a cavern. They are flickering. I will use them like that. One kilo ohm resistor before every L before the main LED the main flickering LED good now let's have some uh, rock paper to the inside of the cavern
Good, so I've glued uh, everything together like that. And then I also added uh, a very long pin. The same I used it to make the balusters for the um, rounded stairs. Now I will need to put those in some particular points to get everything illuminated and like that And then I will try to hide the cords, the wires, with the some something, with some moss or something like that. Let me there. Let me check if it works. And it's flickering too. So I will add the flickering ones, the stones that have an LED behind them in some strategic points to get everything illuminated. I don't have that much. Then the rest will be simple stones with a pin uh, placed here and there, like that. Uh, considering that I still need to put something, so I will not cover everything with these stones here. But I will go ahead and then show you the final result. This will be the aspect it will get. I still need to glue some uh, some more uh, stones and get them around, but uh, it will also bring light inside. Obviously, I also made a top. Okay. A top like this with also some stones uh, on the uh, on the mm, on the ceiling, and uh, obviously it can also get switched on. Uh, but I think this will be first step of the fourth feature dedicated to a Victorian mm, era novelist and it's all for today uh, Saturday October the 1st 2022 Hi guys part B of how I made the last feature dedicated to a Victorian era novelist more precisely as you know this is Jules Verne and Journey to the Center of the Earth. Two weeks have passed. Today is Saturday, October the 15, 2022. Why two weeks? Because I had no time to do anything else. No, not true. I had to model something important for this feature here. So last week I couldn't make uh, progress on this. Uh, Jules Verne was a passionate of science, of everything, and it was also passionate of genealogy. That's why 
I use those uh, rock formation, those crystal formation for my feature. Uh, Professor Linda Brock, the main character um, of the book, and uh, his companions found uh, at a certain point a, a large, gigantic cavern filled with huge, mm, huge crystal formation that uh, that prevented them to advance easily uh, towards their path. I couldn't make them. I couldn't make those gems as big as the Bigelin book. Otherwise, no way to you to see anything inside here. What I will do inside here. But it is one of the main points that had me focus on that book when I was 10, 12, maybe 13. I don't remember sincerely. Maybe, maybe younger. And uh, it's not the main focus point, but I like it then. Uh, also. Also, other things, yes, the sea, the, under, the underworld, the sea, uh, the etc. But I couldn't make this here. But two other things uh, um, had me uh, hooked to the book. The, the prehistoric forest with the uh, uh, 12 feet uh, tall, um, primitive uh, humanoid inside the forest, the dangerous forest, I can move a 12 feet um, humanoid or prehistoric, uh, prehistoric man inside here. But then in the travel they find uh, a mushroom forest, a gigantic mushroom forest filled with prehistoric forest and some prehistoric creatures like mastodons and like uh, sea monsters, etc. I had to choose between them, otherwise this will be at least as large as all my layout. So I went with mushrooms, guys. They are very, very important. Gigantic, yes. I didn't know how to model uh, prehistoric uh, mushrooms. Yes, in the book, if you have the lucky possessor of an early, an early uh, edition of the book, you can see some uh, black and white drawings representing some gigantic uh, mushrooms, but they, without colors, obviously. Um, they printed books with some, uh, with some drawings in that time, very few, but it was very rare, absolutely impossible to have colorful uh, drawings designs so i had to imagine myself some sort of uh, um, gigantic mushroom not a forest but yes a middle between a forest and i came up with two designs guys the first one this one uh, some sort of a strange uh, three forest tree with some undefined colors, guys. I hope you can see it. Those are uh, yellow, green, mixed with iridescent silver. Then also some very um, maroon red. Not not precisely maroon, but maroon red for here and there for uh, something. Uh, strange like this one. I went a little crazy and I modeled this tree here using some sort of tentacles here. Look closely if you can. You have... Allow me to close this in junction with the first feature where I have the giant squid and then here I went... Maybe it's a joke for you, not for me. But who knows if prehistoric uh, mushroom trees and mushroom forests hadn't some sort of tentacles inside them. So this is very strange. Uh, maybe I should get Jay as a... Sorry, Jay is dead. Jay, Jay. Just a second. Okay, here is Jay, Jay. And those are the dimensions. So giant mushroom, yes but not that giant because I have 
I haven't that much space inside the cavern, but it's almost two two times taller. The forest, the the mushroom forest, the tree forest tree is two times taller than JJ. So big, uh, big uh, giant something. And I will place it inside somewhere here and there. I don't know yet. But I went even crazier because not just one type of mushroom a forest normally has different types of trees. Why not just having just a simple one like this one? No, I went even crazier with even more colors, guys. This one, guys, uh, a little taller than JJ, as you can see, and with much more vivid colors. Always mix it with some iridescent silver, and I will approach the camera once again with this giant mushroom here. Uh, maybe some sort of amanita there, yes, but gigantic. But amanitas haven't that tree, uh, that tree form on the uh, on on the ba on on the base there. I wanted something like a, a tree, a, um, a wood, uh, wood, and then with a mushroom, giant mushroom. I went with some yellow and red down uh, here. This I don't know. It's not a mushroom, but it is something that uh, I needed to make some contrast between yellow and red. So green with some. Um, uh, iridescent silver, a lot of iridescent silver, and then those are strange mushrooms nowadays they can't exist like that. Yes, some sort of that can exist, not uh, not uh, eatable mushrooms, of course, but why not? Some sort of I will and um, I will try to suffocate you from right and left, and then this is. Uh, Sorry, uh, the mushroom, the other gigantic mushroom, and then some pointy mushroom just, just uh, there, uh, waiting for full growth there. And the terrain there is rocky leaves and something like that. I will use both of them inside of the cavern, guys, but... Uh, those one and this one. I say to myself, just one little thing more than some moss obviously inside, I need to cover all the wires. Um, I can't model a mastodon because a mastodon will be taller than all this feature. I, can, I don't have water, I can model a prehistoric sea dinosaur. So I went for the most terrific one we know. It's not a T-Rex, guys, because I consider the T-Rex uh, a little puppy uh, confronted with this one guy. This is, as you can see, a V-Raptor, a Velociraptor, okay? Uh, you are certainly uh, known if from Jurassic Park, etc. But the color, I went, I went with what they should be originally. Those were not the forest hunters, but uh, sand hunters. So I went with a color, uh, something between a sand and the, and the, um, and the. Mm, and the herd colors, not the green or greenish as depicted in Jurassic movies or blue as they are depicted. And those are first guys, because Velociraptors has, has, have also first. Some in the mouth, some big monstrous feet and red, so red, green. The eyes, I went with some yellow and green for the eyes and black for the fingernails, the big monstrous fingernails. And this is taller than Jay, obviously, because this is a prehistoric. So even if Velociraptors weren't that big, not all of them, it is way, he, he, he is way bigger, taller than Jay Jay. 
but I want them. Maybe we have we haven't yet found some uh, skeletric uh, remains of giant gigantic um, velociraptors. Um, I went with these three. Obviously, JJ will not be part of the of the feature, so I will need to incorporate those three elements. This is the back, that is the front, so I will need to incorporate them, them and fix them uh, as maybe I, I had to move here and there some of the gems of the stones I have already placed and I will go something like that with the raptor getting in the middle somehow like that maybe a little further because I don't want the uh, the uh, the figurine to be over the to be outside of the perimeter so I will try to pl plug no not to plug to put everything where it is visible from the front uh, the velociraptor will be hiding behind everything maybe just with the head protruding from somewhere like that maybe just a scary head uh, just the, a scary head or something like that yes definitely i will need to move some stones here and there but that will be my vision and that will be my vision of uh, a journey to the center of the earth uh, like that and with no street lamps obviously inside and that's the reason of uh, all those uh, uh, flickering stones I placed uh, to have some light inside and see it because these will be covered and just a little part will be visible uh, under the cavern. This is my vision. Maybe I'm very deranged, guys. Maybe this is not... Uh, let's try to inverse that and here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. I have to, to think about it. Uh, but let me go ahead and try to figure. Um, obviously, I will use some double-sided tape here, but it's not a flat surface. Maybe I will drill some holes um, and uh, have some pins, some big long pins to have this fixed to everything. Then I have some moss, as I say. Uh, let's get to work.
I think this will be my last feature scene. I will try to also show you how I uh, place this under the cover. Then obviously you will see this only after my final video will be uploaded. I need to close even here to get like that so let's get to work on the hardest place possible <laughs> 